hey, I just realized, just, we just finished our lesson, and I just realized I wasn't thinking. Um, so what I said was that you, you're going to start the chorus the way you did it before, um, and then on the third line of the chorus, it's the same as the first line. There, there is, um, it's, it's something you've played before, but it's not exactly the same as the first line of the chorus. So quickly, I'm going to take you through it and, and point out what it is and how you've seen it before. So the third line of the chorus um, is, is the same as measure 11, um, just kind of nudged over a little bit. So if, if you look at measure 11, when you went like this, this is up to, closer to the top of the song, you meant... Right? We did that... In the, in the verse, they bring that back into the chorus and they've nudged it over instead of starting in the beginning of the measure, it starts midway through that first measure. So you, you end up with, um, if I can take you uh, from the end of measure 24, um, the end of the second line of the chorus, you're coming out of this again. That's the same. And then the next part of the measure there is when you jump up to what you've already done before. Right? That, that's the same thing that you did in measure 11, just nudged over. So I should have made a bigger deal out of that than I did. Um, that will take some getting used to, and I would recommend you starting on, pick, on measure 24 and going into those two measures together to get used to that, because it is a little goofy. You'd start from here, and then go right into the thing you've, you, you have there that's from measure 11. Sorry. That's, that's, the, that's it, just nudged over, so it feels funny. Um, but yeah, you'd use the same fingers you did before, middle, middle, index, pinky, and then keep that down. Okay, the only thing that makes it a little different is you end up on the high note in a weird spot. It feels funny, but anyway, I think you can do it. Just, just make sure I make a big deal out of that right now because I didn't during the lesson. So again, practice going from measure 24 all the way through measure 26, 24, 25, 26 together, sounds like this. You'd have an open note, and then your pickup. Quarter note, open note, and then go into the phrase. Okay, over and over and over again, that should be something you work on. The rest of the measure is exactly like um, this, the, the first line of the chorus. Uh, Okay, that's the same. Um, then the, what we focused on today was the next line. Okay, so now let's, now let's work on what we did today. If you have any questions on what I just explained, don't worry about it, and we'll, we'll review it next week, but I think you can handle it. Um, so now we're looking at um, the, what is that, measure 29, um, and the, the beginning of this is something you've already done. Where are we at? Totally cool. You could do that all day long. That's the same as two lines above it. This is where it gets a little bit different. You're going to put a D7 chord down and, and just play through a D7 to start with on the first half of that measure. Okay? Then you're going to take your first finger off and play the next two open notes. Okay? Then come down and play the second fret with your first finger, or your right hand first finger, and go I, T. Okay? I, T finishes that measure, and then I is the next note open on the next measure. Okay? I'm going to focus on what I just did. So the last four notes of measure 30. Open, open, second fret, open, and then the ending on the open note of the next measure. So. Okay? You're going to go I, M, I, T, I. Okay, that, I would do that over and over and over again until it feels comfortable. Okay, I, I, M, I, T, I. And then add that to the rest of that measure. So you have a D7 chord down. Take your first finger off. I, M, I, T, I. Like that. That becomes the thing you focus on next. You play the whole measure. And then when that feels good, add the measure before it. D7. Take your 
first finger off, I am I T I. Okay, once that feels good, we add the ending. Okay, this is the end of that line. Pinky plays the seventh fret, first finger plays the fifth fret. So you put that in order. That feels the same as up top. This is where it gets different. So you roll pinky, first finger, middle finger, first finger, open. And I explained it to you, it kind of feels like a spider, like one, one finger's down, the next finger's down, then the next finger, then the next finger. Boom, 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 like that. Sorry. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And the last part is a pickup. And it comes back around. I would just end on that high note. I'd end on this. And let that be today's lesson. Okay? Um, so it seems like a lot now since I added that next next that, that part that I didn't get to in the lesson. But I think it's all very manageable. Just keep working on what you did last week. Um, add these things in there as little things to work on and then try putting it all together um, by playing through the course by the end of the week. If we don't get to that until next week's lesson, I'm okay with that. Um, but just be, really isolate these things and make sure they're good um, and you'll have a great time. All right, I will see you next week.